Hi everyone, thanks for watching Anyone Can Learn to Code. Today we're going to talk about objects. Now, Ruby is a language that is all about objects. So what do I mean by objects exactly? Let's open up IRB and create a string, which if you'll recall is just a series of letters in a row surrounded by quotes. Hello. Okay, so this hello we've got here is a string, right? Yes, it is, but it is also what is known as an object. To make this clear, let's say you are holding a real baseball. You could say that the thing you're holding is a baseball, and you could also say the thing you're holding is an object. In a general sense, it's an object, but specifically, it's a baseball. So here we've got a string. In a general sense, it's an object. In a specific sense, it's a string. To say it succinctly, it's a kind of object called a string. Now the next thing I'm going to say is very important. We just said that this hello is a kind of object called a string. In Ruby, we'd say that this is a class of object called a string. So class is the programming term for what type of thing an object is. If we'd apply this to our baseball example, we'd say that it's an object whose class is baseball. So the class is what type of object something is. Okay, so in our interpreter, we have the ability to check what class of object something is by adding to the end of it dot class. So let's do hello dot class. And you'll see that the interpreter tells us that hello is a string. And obviously you can do this with all sorts of strings whether it's single quotes or double quotes, doesn't matter. The class of all these things we've just seen is a string. And you'll see from that final example that you don't need a string to be completely comprised of letters. Even something with letters and numbers can be a string. Now, if you'll recall from episode two, you can create variables that hold on to objects. So, if we did x, we'll hold the string apple. Then, if we say x.class, we'll see that it tells us it's a string. So here's another important point. x itself is just a variable. But when we say x.class, we are saying, let's find out the class of whatever data x is holding. So that's why x.class is a string, because x is holding apple, which is a string. Let's move on to numbers. Let's take a number 23. 23.class. What do you think the class of 23 is? If you said number, that was an excellent guess. However, Ruby actually has several different types of number classes, and a plain number has a class known as fixnum which isn't my favorite class name, but there it is. So if x equals 23, then x.class is fixed num. Because, because again, when we say x.class, we're saying what's the class of the piece of data that x is holding? x is holding 23, and 23 is a fixed num. Now this discussion of classes is much more than just theoretical. It will determine how much money you make or do not make and it will determine whether you're a happy person or an unhappy person. Classes are important because different classes of objects have different characteristics and different behaviors. Now this is certainly true in real life. Let's take a cardboard box and an elephant. They're both objects, but they're two different classes of objects. They have different physical attributes. An elephant has a trunk and a cardboard box does not. And they have different behaviors. An elephant eats peanuts but a box just holds peanuts. So in programming, it's important to always know what class of object you're dealing with because different classes can do different things. We actually saw this in action in screencast one. Let's take strings and fixed nums. So with numbers or fixed nums, we see we can do three minus two and get back one. So we see that fixed nums can do the subtraction thing. However, if we do catfish minus fish, we see that we get an error because strings do not have subtraction ability built within them. If you know what class an object is, you'll know what it's capable of doing. 
We'll elaborate on these concepts in upcoming episodes. And another thing we'll do is create our own custom objects with custom behaviors. Strings and fixed nums are classes that are built into the Ruby language, but Ruby also allows you to create your own custom objects as well. Thanks for watching. Anyone can learn to code.